know her name. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my June TBR for 2021. If you are new to this channel then you don't know this but my mom actually picks my TBR every month and she always has like a fun little theme that goes along with the books that she chose. So this month's theme is the four elements, so fire, water, air, and earth. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So I'm just gonna go like fire, water, air, earth, fire, water, air, earth, okay? So let's go. The first book that she chose was House on Fire by Bonnie Kistler and this has been on my TBR for quite some time now and I don't know why I haven't read it yet because it sounds really good. It's about a blended family. The mom has a daughter, the dad has a son, but one day on their way home from celebrating their five-year anniversary, the mother and father get a phone call claiming that their son has been arrested for drunk driving and their daughter has been killed in that accident. So when the son starts saying that he wasn't the one driving and it was actually the daughter and that there is a witness to prove his innocence, the mom is obviously shocked that the son is going to lie about something this big but the father is clinging to his son's innocence so it's causing a lot of problems in their marriage and it's like the story of that. I just think it sounds really good. I'm very excited to pick it up. Next up she picked Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. All I really know about this one is that it is the author of The Girl on the Train and that there is a single mother who turns up dead in the water leaving behind a 15 year old daughter who has to go live with her aunt who is very like fearful of the world. But it says that Paula Hawkins delivers an urgent, twisting, deeply satisfying read that hinges on the deceptiveness of emotion and memory as well as the devastating ways that the past can reach a long arm into the present. Beware a calm surface, you never know what lies beneath. So another thriller book. I'm excited because you know your girl loves herself some thrillers. The next one is her first air book and it is The Breathless. This is by Tara Gojin. It follows a girl named May whose sister Roxanne died a year ago and everybody suspects that it was the boyfriend because he went missing as soon as it happened. Now a year later he turns up on the doorstep claiming that he doesn't remember the last 12 months and believes that Roxanne is still alive. May ends up finding a journal of Roxanne's and it has a lot of deep dark secrets and so she thinks that maybe the boyfriend is onto something and that she might not be dead after all and it's like the story of that. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like a paranormal kind of thing. I'm thinking she's like a ghost or something. I'm not really sure but we're gonna find out when we read it. The next two books are part of a series so I'm just gonna talk about them together but it is Walk on Earth a Stranger and Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson. This is the first and second book in the Gold Seer trilogy and it's about a girl who has the ability to like, find gold in rivers, water, like pretty much anywhere on earth. So she is obviously very valuable and I think that she is being hunted by somebody or something and she's on the run. I don't actually know. This was like an OG booktube book and I just never read it. I only have the first two but it is a trilogy I believe so maybe if I enjoy the first two books I'll end up going and picking up the third one. Who really knows? But you know earth and water in one series. How exciting for my mom. Next up is Trial by Fire. This is by Josephine Angelini and this is about a girl who has very bad allergies which makes her very weak and it's hard to live in the real world. A very humiliating experience happens at her first ever party and she wakes up and she is in this other world where there is a girl named Lillian who is that world's version of herself who is like all-powerful and like a warrior kind of situation and I'm thinking that she has to like save the world with the help of her other self. This is another one of those like OG booktube books. Nobody has talked about it in like forever but it was super popular when I first joined in like 2014 and I just never read it but I'm hoping that it's good. From what I remember of people talking about it they did really enjoy it so I'm hoping that I also really enjoy it. 
The next book she chose is another air book and it is Just Breathe by Cami McGovern. This is about a boy who has cystic fibrosis and a girl who suffers from depression. They end up meeting, becoming friends, I'm assuming falling in love. I'm assuming it's gonna be one of those like love conquers the deadly disease books. I'm hoping that's not what it is but we'll see when we read it. I haven't heard anybody talk about this book so I have no idea if it's good. Have not looked it up on Goodreads to see what the ratings are. It gives me like five feet apart vibes so I'm assuming that's what it's gonna be. Oh it says for fans of five feet apart in the fall in our stars so there you go it's gonna be your typical love heals the illness books. And then the final book that she chose is another earth book. It is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. All I know about this one is that it is a evil queen from Snow White retelling, which if you've been on this channel forever, you know that I am a big fan of fairy tale retellings, so I'm very excited about this one. I already got it on audiobook from my library, so I will be listening to it very soon. And I like how the YA book snake is making an appearance in this video because she has not been on this channel for quite a while, but she's back. Alright everybody, so that was my June TBR for 2021. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, which ones I should read first, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!